just became millionaires. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That was just terrific. Man, you were so cool. And you Thank were great, you. too, Sheila. Thank you. All right. What do you want to say to the kids? Uh, Logan can have whatever Nintendo game he wants now. <laughs> and uh, Shelby can know what she does. She can, she can eat food. Well, she's only a year old. She doesn't yeah. even know. She's four. Oh, she's four. four. Yeah. Logan's a little guy. Well, you know, I heard, overheard you talking about what it would take you in terms of years to acquire this kind of money, and right. it sounded like a, a lifetime of the two of you teaching. You got 25 years of teaching. 25 years of teaching. Well, that's terrific. We started out talking about that, and now yep. you're, you're millionaires. Right. And you'll continue to teach? Oh, yes, continue to teach. Good, good for you. Sheila, you were terrific. Thank, Thank you very, very much. I get a new car. She gets a new <laughs> car, yes, I know she. Bob, thank you very, very yeah. much. How about a big hand for Bob and Sheila House? Good luck. That's great. Okay. Well, we still have a brand new group of contestants ready for their chance, so let's meet them right now. And they are Todd Cruz, Sydney, Nebraska, Jason McClung, Summersville, West Virginia, Bill Schoenemann, Mountain Lakes, New Jersey, Adam Bloomfield, Mawa, New Jersey, Tim Lee, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, Greg Norris, Edmonds, Washington, David Harris, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Kathy Hitler, Tampa, Florida. Rich Black Howell, Columbia, Maryland. All right, contestants, here's how it works now. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one that puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, when you complete silence here, thank you. Here's that question. Put these foods in the order in which they were introduced starting with the most recent. Healthy Choice Foods, Campbell's Soup, Cap'n Crunch, Spam. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent, and it was Healthy Choice Foods, then Cap'n Crunch, Spam, and Campbell's Soup. That's the right order. Who got it right at the fastest time? The winner. The winner is... Jason McClung. Jason, congratulations. Come on, let's go. Oh, boy, lots of excitement tonight. Jason McClung from Summersville, West Virginia, just outside of Charleston, is in the hot seat right now. Yes. Wasn't that something, Jason? It was, yes. <laughs> now, as you sat there and followed the progress, could you answer many of those questions? No. <laughs> oh. no. You know, it just depends on what your experience is, what your education is. And incidentally, Jason never got to college. He's 24 years old, plans to start this yes. fall. All right, so Jason, tell me about your life. What do you do? I am a front desk manager at a motel. You do a good job? I try. Yeah, and no. how long have you been there? I've been working there almost four years. Good for you. And, and uh, your mom and dad are sitting right behind you there. That's Edra. Idra. Idra, sorry, nice to see you. And uh, your dad is uh, Larry. Yes. And both of you folks work, right? Yes. yes. What do you do, Idra? I work in a supermarket in a deli department. Uh huh. Larry? I work on a service mine for Piston Coal Company. Uh huh. All right, good. So it's a working family. Yes. <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome, Jason. Good luck to you. You're ready to go here. You know the rules. You know about the lifelines 50 50. Ask the audience, phone a friend. So if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we go. Okay, Jason, we're going to go through these uh, 15 questions. We begin, as always, with the $100 question. What is the main ingredient of toast, steak, vegetables, bread, sea bass? If I miss this one, I would be toast. The answer <laughs> is sea bread. Of course, it's bread, and you've got it for 100 $200. Which of the following names is also a verb, meaning to tease? Joe, Josh, Jeff Letterman. I have a nephew named Josh. It's Josh. Josh it is for $200. $300. According to Holiday Song, who comes hopping down the bunny trail? Peter Rabbit, Peter Cottontail, Bugs Bunny, Peekaboo Street. I believe the answer is Peter Cottontail. Peter Cottontail is the right answer. 500 bucks, here it is, Jason. By definition, which of the following relatives 
must be male. Nephew, aunt, cousin, mother. The answer is A, nephew. Nephew's got to be a male. You're right. <laughs> Up to $1,000. The widow's peak is found on what part of the human body? Back, forehead, upper lip, nose. I believe the answer is B, forehead. That's right. Forehead is the right answer for a thousand. We're through the uh, first uh, five questions. Now we move on to $2,000. Here it is. The Wheel of Fortune TV quiz show is based on which popular parlor game? Tic-tac-toe, charades, spin the bottle, hangman. The answer is D, hangman. Watch it all the time, do you? Quite a bit. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, it's hangman. Wheel of Fortune, hangman. $4,000. For which of the following rock groups was Boy George the lead singer? The Cult, Crowded House, Culture Club, The Cure. He was the singer for C, Culture Club. That's your final answer? That is my final answer. Boy George headed up the Culture Club. You're right. $4,000. We're up to $8,000 right now. Chartreuse is a shade of what color? Green, red, blue, brown. I think I would like to ask the audience. Let's check it out with the audience. We need a little help here for Jason. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, 54% say it's uh, green, 31% uh, uh, call it red. Well, I was thinking it was between green and blue. I'm going to go with green, A. Going to go with 54% of them? Yes. Going to make it your final answer? Final answer. He says green. You're all right for $8,000. <laughs> All right, Jason, we have a couple of lifelines still left. We're going for 16,000, seven away from a million. Here it is. Who is the first witch killed in the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz? Which of the North, which of the East, which of the South, which of the West? The house fell on her. It was the witch of the East, B. You're a big movie fan, aren't you? I love movies. Which one? B, which of the East. Final? Final. Which of the East it is? $16,000. Going for 32000 right now, Jason. Very important. What virus, known to cause hemorrhagic fever, is the subject of the 1994 best-selling book, The Hot Zone? Encephalitis. E. coli. Ebola. Rabies. I started to read this book, but I don't think I even I don't even think I got into it. I'm gonna go with C, Ebola. Pretty sure? Reasonably. Yes. Ebola C. Final? Final. Did it for $32,000. <laughs> They'll be right back. He's going 